Are you ready? I'm ready. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> wow, my hair just sprung up with that. It's bouncy. got more stuff to try out more goodies christina so exciting brought over more goodies. even way better stuff you're really good at shopping <laughs> i have to tell you thank you <laughs> you find the cutest things and i also like that you are willing to try new stuff mm. that's important mm -hmm. so many of us get stuck in our ways and we do the same old thing so are we trying to save time today what are we going to try to do with these beauty hacks well, uh, we might have to do a few at a time. <laughs> In order to save time? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to show? Show. Okay. Let's show it. We have a jelly lip plumping mask. Organic, vegan, cruelty free. That was the first thing I noticed, of course, which I liked. Since and it's got not glitter is, in it, but which cool. I feel like is crazy. It has heart glitter in it. Let's see. How is that where did these organic hearts come from? <laughs> smell it, smell it. Oh, it smells minty. It smells like a minty. It smells delicious. Thin mint. Yes. Does it smell Andy's like, yeah, mint. Like an Andy's candy. <laughs> After our, our a terrible failure of eyebrow products last time, we got some new ones. This okay. is. Oh, you have faith in us? Oh, yeah. This is a <laughs> Wet n Wild um, Universal Stencil Kit. And okay. um, it's very involved. There's a lot of pieces. So that one's for you. And <laughs> there's a lot of pieces. That one's I have for an you. eyebrow tint gel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the purple for? <laughs> Only one way to find out. <laughs> eyebrow tint gel shaped like a tiny wine bottle. And this is a uh, classic red wine, um, Laboratories of Nature. That's to darken the place. eyebrow. Yes, it okay. tints your eyebrows so you can go a whole week without doing any pencil or anything. Great. Yeah. Nice. And uh, and your hair is a lot less red than last time, right? Yeah. <laughs> the orange so, hair is gone for a while. Do you did you have to change eyebrow treatments when you were changing colors? Like, what did you do? Did you usually just like kind of use the same things, or did you have them tint when you would dye your hair, or did you just leave them natural? I pretty much always use like a reddish brown color okay. and somehow that works for most hair colors. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. And then this is actually from Korea, from Etude House, which I found. So it's like a little soda machine. Oh my God, it's so with cute. Little, the little sodas are lip tints and I'm so excited to try these. It's adorable. <laughs> the names are great too. So this is Zero Red. And then um, Milky Soda, Grapefruit Fantasy, and Peach <laughs> Talk Talk Talk. Wow. Mm, yeah. So um, I got this because I was looking for Kit Kat makeup. Kit Kat actually made makeup. Okay. And it looked like a little Kit Kat bar, and oh, it came with cute. a Kit Kat bar. That's cute. Um, they were out of that, so I got this. <laughs> <laughs> they were out of it, so this was the second best. Yep. Okay. And um, I saw this somewhere on Instagram. This is actually Revlon, so that's pretty no pretty normal, not an unusual brand. Yeah, so it's wet and wild, right? This is, you could get yeah, that pretty much anywhere. Drugstore. Um, and these are nice. instant cheek makers. They have the highlighter and the blush. In one. Yeah, and so this one is a sweet coral, and yours is a make me bronze. Ooh, maybe we should trade. Make me bronze, yeah, probably. I don't know. We're both pretty fair, right? Yeah. And this is Roll On Highlighting Balm um, by Kaja. And I think I got it from Ulta. A roll on highlighter. So you right. just roll that puppy on? Just roll it on like you're painting your bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Can uh, we just apply our whole face like that? Like That would be ideal. Every ingredient and just. I, I have time for that. <laughs> this is an eyeshadow. Supposed to be very quick and easy and every day. Also, this is amazing packaging. It's like a little fake it um, is really cute. magazine. It's yeah. Called, it's called I Magazine, <laughs> and the hashtags are um, terrible. Hashtag Sweet Sixteen. Gangs rules. Gangs beauty. I I am a boss of me. 
Mm, yeah. Yeah. So the idea is that there's two colors in one brush. And so you get the two colors, you put it on, that's it. You're done, you walk away. Oh my God. We'll see. I, that, I just had got like a wave of anxiety just <laughs> rushed over me. That's, that's it, you're done, that's it. And that's how easy it is. I'm like, it's never that no, easy. No, it's not, yeah. Never. So are you ready to plump up your lips? Absolutely, I Truly am. organic <laughs> jelly lip plumping mask. Okay, what do we do? Do we touch this with our hands? Well, I guess if it's going on our mouth, it's gonna go inside of our body. So I guess I could touch it with my hands. Yeah, we also They're don't have clean. any other options. <laughs> <laughs> so. so just take a little bit. Yeah. And. Oh my God. Is it, it so, are you supposed to use a lot or a little? It doesn't say. <laughs> it's very glittery. Like, do you wipe it off after? Um, you're supposed to leave it on oh, for eight to directions. 10 directions, apply to face and leave face. Yeah. But it's a mm -hmm. list. Plumping. Leave for eight to 10 nice. minutes before washing off. Oh, uh, okay, so we gotta get this on there. Uh, Ugh. the glitter is. Oh, you just tasted it. It's, um. Oh no, a sparkle's in my mouth. Yeah. Oh it. no, they're on my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> they're on your teeth too. Oh my god. Oh wow. Well. We're really off to a good start. This is a hot, hot, hot mess. Yeah, Um, I could do without the glitter. I could definitely do without the glitter. The glitter there's is small well. and there's really big glitter. So there's like small purple glitter and then large hearts. Large hearts in your teeth. And they sort of like, like those. They, like, like they sort of like <laughs> move. Ugh. Oh, I don't uh. like that. All right. But does it plump? If you can get past the terrible glitter. Yeah, it does it. Also, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't really taste good. It doesn't, well, it doesn't taste that bad though. Surprisingly. Oh my God, there's glitter all over. I don't like these big pieces of glitter. I definitely think that was a mistake. I'm just gonna take off the hearts. It's a look. I'll leave that one hanging. No, I'll just take it off. <laughs> <laughs> Unable to deal with it. I'm gonna all leave mine hearts. right on there so that I eventually ingest them all. It looks better on my nails. This is an appropriate place. Plump, plump them up. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Did you go on your tooth? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, what are we gonna do next? Now that so, we have these. So now that we've got time, I oh. think we should do our eyebrows because that will take a while. Okay. Also, just a note for everybody, we did our base, so we both have foundation and concealer and powder on. You have mascara and eyeliner. I didn't do either of those because I wanted to be guinea pig for these eyeshadows, so I figured I'll do the eyeshadow first and then mascara. So if I look like I have no eyelashes, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so Rebecca's going to take the Universal Wet n Wild kit, and you'll see there's some steps. So I'll let you get through that while I apply ABC, my tint yeah. gel okay. to my eyebrows, which will look crazy. So, pardon me for a moment. Apply wax as a powder base. Step number one. So well, wax. first it says brush your eye eyebrows over and everything, but I already did that today. There so. is a little mini spoolie in there. If you need one. Spoolie. That's what it's called. <laughs> I know. Oh. That word is just so cute. <laughs> Spoolie. <laughs> and what are you doing? I'm doing my so you gel just eyebrow slap gel. This on there. There's no stencil or nothing. Freehand. <laughs> eyebrow gel, and then it dries, and you peel it off. So that's exciting. Okay. I wish that my dog would stop barking. Oh yeah, you're gonna love this. Wait, wait, wait to see how it look when it's all on. Oh my gosh, wow. Now you're not scared because you've done this before? Yeah, well, this what, The first time, were you scared? Uh, no. You're never afraid. <laughs> Beauty never scares, Christina. No, <laughs> I'll try anything. So here is what that looks like out of the package. Here are the directions for this guy. So we, we've got a couple of steps here, but I'm gonna open it up. I'm still very confused by all of the colors here, um, but I believe that the purple pink color is a wax, is the wax they're talking about. This is a pretty comprehensive hit, kit, I do have to say. It's got- Maybe now that it's open, you some, can kind of show it. Some stencils, 
Hold on, I gotta get everything out here. My fingers are sticking to it. So there's two stencils, which is pretty cool. So if you need a reshape, I'm just gonna dump the tools out. So here's what this, these colors look like up close. The little slots there were for these three items. We have a tiny spoolie. <laughs> Tweezers and a brush that has, actually, this side is a brush, this side is a sponge. And now let's follow the directions, guys. Christina is just leaving you in the dust. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh man. I cannot even believe what I'm seeing. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is a thumbnail. It's right? amazing. <laughs> it's Everything I hoped it would be mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. Totally agree. All right. So I need to first pick a stencil. Which one do I pick? It's unfortunate that my eyebrows are different shapes right now, but I think I can. I think I can bring it back around. Would you like a stencil? <laughs> Actually, there's three in here. There's one that was stuck together. So let's see. I'm going to see which one of these is the most like what I have now. This is like almost exactly my eyebrow. So that's good. Wow. So already the stencil is a better better time than the last one we tried. Definitely. This one's pretty close too. I can't tell. Is this thicker? Is that why? Or was it just the way I was holding it? Mm, this one will probably be too small. Too short? I think I, I just have too short. different shaped eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. With the glitter lips, it's perfect. Yeah, you know, I didn't expect this, but the jelly plumping lip mask is drying on. It's not staying moist and giving me... I think it is plumping. Is it? How do you feel? I don't know. What kind of plumper? Um, which one of these stencils is what do you think I should go for? That one is like pretty tight. It's pretty much your eyebrow. But so is this one. Just wait. They're both very is this one oh, too that long? One's, no, it's it's great. This one's better? Yeah. It's not too long on the side. Um I mean it maybe might don't be. fill it all the way in. It might be. That might be why this one's a little bit better of a fit. Mm, I'm overthinking it. I'll just use this one. I'm going back for more. I need I need maximum plumping. Yeah. Maybe I should too, since I wiped so much. Well, not wiped, but got rid of all those glitters. Maybe all the powers in the glitter. Yeah. Ooh, didn't consider that. It's not working. Put more on. I wonder if it has that like bee serum in it. I'll tell you what it does have in it. <clears throat> oh, good. Aloe, vitamin E boost, and. Ceramides. It's got ceramides. Hmm. Maybe that's bees. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Let's see if this phone works. No. It's dead. I'm nice gonna idea. look and see what that is. Cause I was curious. Okay, so we gotta stencil this guy. Did you apply the wax? I'm overwhelmed. I didn't apply the wax yet. Overwhelming. What, what do you think I should apply the wax with? This side? Yeah, the brush. The brush side. Okay, so this is- Oh, that's the pink. That's, that's what the, the pink, pink bar is. is. It's wax. So let's, oh my God, this is sticky. Let's wax them down so that there's something for this to stick to. That's what they're saying. My lip mask is tingling. Is I it? I think it is working. You think it's working? Yeah. That's how you know it works. That's how you know. Let me have these instructions so I can coach you through yeah, the process. Yeah, coach me through. I'm gonna <clears throat> put my hair back a little bit to really maximum effect get to these brows here. Good idea. Okay. Wax, wax. Are you all waxed up? Wax is done on this side. I'll go ahead and wax the other side because once I touch this in powder, 
the wax won't be waxy anymore. Wow, I did a terrible job with my foundation. My face is so dry though, so I just, I don't know, look, it's spotty. <laughs> it looks good. You're all right. <laughs> all right, now what? Now put the stencil on? Yep, stencil on. Line up with brows. Mix and match the three powders to set the shape of the brows. Sort of confusing instructions, but I think they're saying is like, you can customize your brow color. Let's see a little bit of this. She's just going in, she's going in. I'm gonna use this light dusty color. Here, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna come in for an assist. You're gonna hold it? Yeah. Okay. Good? Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> just so you guys know, cause you know, I'm a makeup artist and everything. When I do brows on clients, I do not use the stencil. <laughs> I have attempted to use stencils on myself in the past, and I just find that freehand works typically just fine. So let's go over. I mean, if you really need to reshape, that's when you would use a stencil, but I still don't. It might help you tweeze your brow into a shape if you're not sure exactly how to do that. Yes. Good yeah, so like help. if you have really wild eyebrows that need shaping could definitely help with that. That's right. It's a good good call there. <laughs> so um unbelievably the next step actually, is to actually apply a wax to hold brows in place. Oh god they're gonna be so More waxy. Waxy. this is actually a nice a nice color. So I'm using the this color right here. Good this is the shape. wax this looks like a highlighter color that you're gonna use underneath and then this is the color that I was using because it's kind of a little bit lighter. I have pretty dark eyebrows, so I usually go for a color that's a little bit lighter than my eyebrows to like lighten them up a little bit because they're so... Seems like a good match. They're so dark. My brother has like black eyebrows. Wow. And his hair is blonde. <laughs> it's kind of funny. We all have dark eyebrows. Hmm. Dark eyebrow gene. I think the highlight that they include, it does, the last step is to finish with highlighter. I think that's kind of to do some cleanup in case there's a little powder spillage. Yeah. Oh, I didn't do the stencil on this side. Should I? Just for to make sure they're the same? Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it for you guys. I'm doing it for you. <laughs> there we go. Just, you know, just really get it in there. I can feel mine drying. It's tightening up a little. Does it hurt? No. Is it uncomfortable? It's just like getting ready. So you're getting that excited I'm excited, yeah. I'm excited. Can't wait to tear it off. All right. This is it's pretty good. You know, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette for eyebrows usually. And this brush is actually like really similar. Yeah. If it wasn't teeny tiny. Oh my god, my eyebrows are really dark looking. If I, they look really good actually. Teeny tiny, then it would almost be the same. Very, they did a good job with this brush. Hmm. That's good. Okay, so there's my eyebrows. Is that good? Yeah, they look really good. I honestly I actually this is not very bad. So you can apply wax to hold brows in place and then use the highlighter on your brow bone. Okay, so table. let's I'm gonna do a little bit of the wax. I'll do it on like the side of the brush to kind of brush them over. Yeah, you could also use an eyebrow gel or just skip it. Yeah, I usually don't use waxes on top or gels or anything like that. I do have, I actually got one pretty recently, but I just, um, touch my eyebrow. Oh my God. Right? Weird. Yeah. So what's gonna happen? So then I peel it off. You peel it off? <laughs> it doesn't rip the hairs off? Mm-mm. Oh yeah. The big, big reveal is coming. Let's do this highlighter here. I'm super over this Jelly Lip Plumper. Are you? Yeah, it's just dried down now, so it's it's just glitter left over, like chunks of it. No good. I do feel like my lips are plumper. Do you? I don't think they look better. Hmm. I don't know. Do Maybe a little bit, yeah. 
Maybe not. Maybe it's in my imagination. I feel like placebo effect. I feel like the bottom lip is having some effect. The bottom lip? Yeah. All right. So I added some highlighter to the brow bone to accentuate the line. Those are some good looking eyebrows. I a lot better a, than last time. I think it's a good kit. And I would say, this especially if you're inexperienced mm -hmm. and you have brow envy and you just need to like, I do agree. get into it. So if you're new to brows, this is a pretty good kit. It's got stencils to and help And the you stencils out. aren't crazy. They're actually really good. They're pretty good, yeah. This was a success. How, do you, how do you feel about taking off the jelly lip plumper? <sighs> I'm a little bit worried that do the glitter won't come it? off. Ooh. Oh, I, I just licked my lips first. <laughs> regret. Pure regret. Ugh. How'd you do? Um, honestly, the glitter is difficult to remove and my lips taste bad. So. You got this at Sephora? Ulta. Along with the roll on highlighting. It's all. Um, it's. It's all, of, it's all in my teeth. I really like the it's color the left behind. Like that's pretty color. There's just a little bit, like a hint, but getting all the glitter off is time Impossible. consuming and annoying. And it also gets in your mouth and it's terrible. It was a terrible idea to put glitter in it. Eating all the glitter. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> much it. You yeah. gotta eat the glitter. So I guess, thank God it's organic. So. Don't panic, it's organic. Made in the USA, Miami Beach. Next time you go to Florida, maybe you can head over there and I'll yeah. let them know. I'm gonna come there. 2160 we Park really Avenue. I love a glitter free <laughs> version. Well, I feel like if you had this for a sleepover, you'd be a big hit, you know? Like, aloe vera, vegetable, glycerin, coconut oil, peppermint, vitamin E, biodegradable, plant based glitter, organic. Wow, plant-based glitter. So I guess we'll be all right. Hopefully. Yeah, we'll Hopefully survive. we'll live. Who wants to watch me peel off my eyebrows? Me! <laughs> Yay! Let me see. Ooh, ah. Right? I can't believe it doesn't pull the eyelashes off. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, it really doesn't. It's just, it's kind of tinting the, the brow hairs and the skin, but it's really easy to pull. Well, wow, that color is like perfect match for your hair right now. Well, thank you. That's amazing. It even has like a red undertone to it. Yeah. Let's see. Does it say what shade it is? Let's see. Classic red wine. Maybe that's the shade? Because it's in a little tiny wine bottle? No, well, it's called PEI, and then there's like a symbol, and then EN. Classic red wine. Love the color of your eyebrow gel. Special makeup for you. Create beautiful makeup. It's number three. Oh, oh. three. Oh, three is your shade. If the you're back is for Chinese, the... so I don't know, but it also looks like in, the back is just what it says the same, maybe. Okay. You know? For the record, I got it on Amazon. And they also have lip balms and tiny wine bottles, too, for the wine lover in your life. It's cute. Yeah. It's adorable. This is amazing. Yeah, so in my experience, I wouldn't say it lasts a full seven days, Okay. but for sure, at least three and possibly up to five, which is all you now, need. Now, do you wipe it after this, like rinse it with water or you just leave it like this? No, that's it, you're done. Just gotta get all the little pieces out. Okay. So it dyes your skin a little bit too. Yeah, but like if you Over put on, it washes off if you're sure. putting anything on your eyebrows, it's definitely getting on the skin too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. There well, you know, that makes me feel like you could probably use these eye stencils when you do it. If you, if someone wanted to create a new shape for their eyebrow, mm. they could use one of those stencils and then do that on top of exactly where the stencil is to kind of create more of a line. That would you know? be actually a really good idea. Like yeah. if somebody didn't have like a curve, let's say like straight eyebrow, because you know, you run into it all the time. Sometimes your eyebrow's just straight. It doesn't yeah. want to turn. Or it doesn't have a good tail. And you need to yeah. like, extend the tail. What direction do I go in? That would be a good use for a stencil. Did I get it all off? Yeah, it looks great. All right. Let's see. Yeah, maybe like a little bit in the middle, but it's, you'll get it off. <laughs> and when you take a shower, I'm sure it'll, yeah. you know, be perfect. Do you want me to get more tissues? 
No, we're good. Okay. <laughs> we don't need tissues. We don't need tissues around here. Now that our lips are plump, who wants to dive in to our soft it's drink time. tint? It's time. Ice cold, it says. Iced cold. Iced cold. <laughs> Iced cold. I so feel bad. like you probably want the one on the bottom, which is the peach tuck tuck tuck. Tell talk. me what I want, what I really, <laughs> really want. But I'll give you first crack. Well, is the blue one really blue? Yeah, um, um, the milky soda flavor. I'm very curious about the um, the back. It really just has directions and no additional information on whether your lips will be so blue. Is this gonna be pink? This is apples. I'm gonna definitely gonna take, this is pink. Cause I love pink, so it's like pinkish. But it's also salmon-y looking. But then this one. That's the one I was eyeballing is grapefruit pictures and it's very orange, but to next to each other, they're really close. So I don't know what that's gonna be. Blue. Go ahead, show it off. Show it off. Blue says that it's bubbles. <laughs> Does that mean it's bubble gum? Maybe it's bubble gum. It's just bubbles. I mean, and you can't think your lips clear, so I don't really know what's going red on Red is the square flavor. What? what? This is weird. Why are these two fruits and this is not and that is not? I don't Some know. I don't know. Weird things happening here. Directions. Okay. After adjusting the amount of the content on the tip at the opening of container, apply on the lips starting from the inside and working outward as if creating natural gradation. Natural gradation. Wow. Wow. Who translated this? That's it. All the other, all oh, the other stuff. Oh, this is from Korea. Yeah, all the other stuff's in Korean. So these Korea things are the best. <laughs> they're so fun. And they're, they're so, so fun. Cute. They know how to come up with like the cutest, most creative things. So the applicator uh, looks like that. Your average doe foot. Yes. 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 <laughs> so remember, okay. start I'm from the inside. It. Oh my God! It just... smells so good. Really? Mm-hmm. Really it smells like artificial candy, like gummy candy, which you know I love. Mm, yeah, it does smell like gummy candy. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. I still have glitter. Yeah, me too. Is this a stain? Yep, it's a tint. So do I apply thick? Yeah, I would say yes. Um, also, I don't think it's like the kind you peel off. So you just leave it on for a while and then okay. just wipe it off. So try not to screw it up because it's going to be on. Yeah. It's a nice color. Yeah. This reminds me of one of the Clinique Chubby Sticks that really? I have that is like this bright pink color that I like for summer. I'm not sure that I followed the instructions by starting on the inside, but I I tried. Oh, yours looks awesome. Ooh, thank you. Your lips do look plumper. Wow, nice. so plump. <laughs> they really do. Thanks, Jelly Plumper. I just noticed I have uh, glitter like in my underneath teeth. the thing, yeah, like in my teeth. Look um, at this purple glitter. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go without, oh my God, I just got this. So cute. Um, also, it doesn't say how long to leave it on, so we're just gonna have to wing it. I'm trying to get on the edges because I want it to be like legit stain it. Yeah. yeah, like a little overline action. Not overline, but like just actually fill in the like lines. A like a straight line, <laughs> like coloring in between <laughs> lines but not going over too much. All right, so I got it on my teeth a little bit. It comes off. All right. NBD. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can compare to the last. Yeah. Nothing compares. It looks good though, even though it's like vibrant. So now it's like going on, it was very smooth and very pretty smooth, liquidy. Smelled good, smelled good. Smelled good, tastes good. I liked all that. And now it's getting sticky, so. Yeah, and since it's a tint, you really, do want to put it on very carefully so that you don't like go over and like have a weird shape or. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we'll just leave it on. We'll just leave it on. the last minute. See what happens. All right, next up we have the Instant Cheek Maker. Instant Cheeks. 
Also on the back, there's kind of a cool photo that gives you an idea of what you're trying to accomplish here. Totally. Love it. So, do you want the pink one or the tan one? Make me bronze or sweet coral? This is hard. Yeah, just take that one. <laughs> you're like, yeah, just take the pink one. You know you want it. <laughs> this is sweet coral deuce coral. There are instructions. Also, it has a little twisty thing. Like, it has a twisty deodorant. thing. Like deodorant. It has a curve indicating where you're going to go on your cheek bone. Helpful. Let's see. The top is highlighter and the bottom. It appears to be bronzer, this a good but choice. it's called I blush. I definitely go more for this. All right. So, so it says, place product on apple of the cheekbone, blush side down, blush side down, swipe along the cheekbone, tap with finger to blend. Mm. Okay. Are we going for it? Is Starting here. Is that enough information? Like this. It's saying to go this way, correct. <laughs> because I would go that way. This is the blush. This is more the highlight. Place product on apple of the cheekbone. So, mm -hmm. right like here. here. And then swipe it. And then you tap it. Oh, I'm going harder. in. I should have done it harder. Okay. And then you tap it. And then you tap it. This is more of a rub than a tap. <laughs> yeah. This one, since it's kind of a bronzer, I would I would not really put like bronzer right here. Let me see. Yeah, maybe to maybe you would do it a little bit higher. I'm gonna start where it tells you not to. Yeah. Oh, from back to front. Mm-hmm. And then in the a little early. That looks is like where you would put some bronzer. I don't. Uh, know how I feel about this like application process, but I do like the color of this blush. Nice. I, I kind of feel like it rubbed off my makeup though, right here. Oh, that's not good. Let me see. Like on this part, I don't know if it's just because this highlighter is so light or because nope, I you're rubbed right. it off. It definitely rubbed it off. <laughs> Oops. It rubbed it off. Um, so, so oh I God. can kind of see the highlighter. I mean, it's popping out. I feel like I'm like putting more paint on doing it this way. It's like, shh, shh, the game! Oh, I so. Well, they know I'm good! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that kind of does feel like that. This is an intense day! Girls, we gotta get ready to go! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, does that really save a lot of time That's over my coach voice? Blush and like a brush? No, not really. No, this didn't save this time. In fact, I rubbed all my makeup <laughs> off. So now I have to redo it. Thanks, Revlon. Thanks, no, I'm just Revlon. Kidding. I'm just kidding. They, you know, I, they're trying, they're trying. Everybody's gotta try to do new things. You know, swipey people might like this. People that don't wear foundation would probably like this. Ooh. You know? Because yeah. if you don't wear foundation, you want a, you want a little look, natural maybe rosy a little cheek, little look. highlight, or yeah. a little bit of bronze, but that would look true. good. True, if you were true. going to the beach, but to do this over a thick foundation, it literally just wiped my foundation off in those areas. And this highlight is a little bit too light. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see the cheek color at all. What happened? You don't see it? No. Do you want me to do more? I'll just do it like this now and rub it in. All right. We're doing off-label usage here. Some more highlighter. Fun fact. If you ever are in a pinch, don't have blush, and you need it, you can use lipstick. And you would do a similar thing that you're doing with this guy, which is just tap a little on. So you just put your lipstick on like this, and then circular rub into your cheeks. You ever use that hack as a youngin? I think I probably have, yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, I can see it now. It yeah, but in person, I feel like this looks so transparent and like my foundation looks so yellow. <laughs> Whatever. Well, it was a good try. We tried. This was an inch, it was interesting. Mm -hmm. I'd like to hear if anyone has tried this product or the Wet n Wild Universal Brow Kit. I doubt they've probably come across this soda pop, but if you have, let us know if you like these items. 
we'd love to hear your thoughts. I need on to this. know what this looks like. So somebody find find us and tell us. Let, let's do it on our. I'm gonna do it on my hand. All right. Okay? All right. And just see what happens. A little hand tint. It's clear. It's yeah. totally. It's just clear. It's totally clear. It's not blue. For when you want to. Tint Crisis your, averted. Tint your lips clear. Yeah, so when you want to tint your lips. It would lips. actually make more sense to just have a lip gloss if you're going to go the clear mm -hmm, route. That's a little weird. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. Okay. <laughs> What's next? All right. Next up, we have the Roller Highlighting Balm, which I want to say high quality packaging. It is, actually. Yeah. It looks like a rainbow. <laughs> it's got glitter on it. It's shimmery. The reason I got this is because... Ooh! Because it looks like this? Because it looks like this. This is cool. Like a little... Yeah, so paint. I'm not surprised that you bought this one because it's fun. It also this has a, a little one. holographic label. And uh, Oh, thank you, ma'am. Oh, it's definitely gimmicky. Wow, this actually spins nice. Ooh, there's another one in here. It's an extra roller. Well, that's great. Inside one for you, one for your friends. <laughs> this is the roller. It's snapped in there really securely. <gasps> There's a passageway. And then you roll it. So far, it's fun. So far, fun. Did anything come off? I think is so. Is there a plastic case on this? No. Or I like cover? No, there's not. Is anything coming off? Literally nothing. Okay. Maybe, maybe have to I'm going to hold it see. so people can see that you are, in fact, rubbing. I'm going in hard. Oh, oh yeah. Now I can see some transfer. See it coming off? Yeah. Let's see. This would be a good spot. Am I, are you even seeing it? I do, actually. I mean, oh. I see it looking down. It's a little shimmery, but... I don't know. I don't know about this applicator. Let's try this one. Kind of letting me down. So you've got to really push, we're pushing hard here yeah. to try to get it off. I so I see it on the one side, but not the other. Hmm. Let's press harder to the right. Press harder. To the right, <laughs> to the left, to the right, to the left. I see it more on that side. Are you supposed to put this on your face? Yeah. Can you? And everywhere. Did any come off? No. I don't really see it. But I will tell you, it says roll sponge applicator over, over balm to warm up formula before first use. So, okay. had I read the instructions, you do have to warm it up. Warm it up. Then apply on bare skin or on top of makeup to add instant shimmer. Rolling, rolling, rolling. I'm warming it up right now. It's warming. <laughs> they see me rolling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's okay. warmed up. I hope. I just rolled it so much, but I don't know. <laughs> I think it's coming off a little bit. It's not. For when you really want to paint your face. Yeah, for when you really want it to be legitimately. You know, I do use this reference a lot with people when they're like, oh, I have to use primer. Primer? Why do you have to use primer? And I'm like, like painting the wall. <laughs> you gotta prime it first before you can put any layers on it because you need something for it's a little subtle, I wanna say. I'd like it to be blinding. Like flashing, right? I want like, it to be I insane. thought it was gonna be holographic like the front. That would be cool. It would have been cool. Yeah, this is cool, it's fun. Maybe more for kids than for adults. I don't yeah, know. It's the um, packaging doesn't say child though to me because it's not that great. nice and thick but this packaging yeah it is kind of little girlish i'm gonna go in with my finger and see if i can get some some clean oh yeah it is coming off a little more you know i think this would have worked way better if instead of it being a bomb if it was a just a powder what do you think oh my god it's just the applicator it has a lot of interesting to it it's like a it's iridescent kind of yeah yeah you're right it really it really shows up when you yeah get it on there it's kind of pink i am um, don't know i'm 
my lips are starting to feel like maybe this stuff is drying. Away. Yeah, maybe we should take it off. Well, have you had enough? Yeah. Let's close the door. Wow. To our fun bomb. house. <laughs> <laughs> Snap her in. Goodbye. <laughs> you trash. <laughs> you trash. <laughs> All right, what about this uh, eyeshadow here? This I did expect to be terrible right at the gate. So. <laughs> you did? Okay, I did. Good. Yeah. Oh, I this... like going in. I like going in with clear like, expectations. Low, low expectations. <laughs> that always is the best. Yeah. When you're like, yeah, this isn't gonna work out, then you're not disappointed <laughs> at all. You know. Set the bar low. Set the bar low. All right. Well, I'm gonna take off my lip. I don't want to rip tint. this. Will you do that? Packaging. Oh, you know what? It's looser on the front. There we go. Ooh, how to. Tip one. Tip two, tip three. Okay. So I'll only put this back in. This is what it looks like on the inside. Oh! Didn't break it. Hashtag eye magazine. Hashtag quick and easy. Hashtag boss of me. So the lip tint doesn't come off. <laughs> Oh, that's what you've been doing. So right if now. you like bold color, have I got the product for you? It's this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is it. This is my face now, forever. Okay, give it a shot. Great. Try and take it off. Oh, you, oh, this or that? You want to do this? Sure. Go ahead. All right. Oh, look at the little brush. It's so little. You're like, go ahead. Try to take it off. Oh no. Okay. I know it's tiny. Don't lose it. It's the only it's one. Like the size of a thumbnail. Okay. So what I understand this to be is that you just rub it in and go nuts. Does it actually say anything useful? My lips still taste like that jolly gel. <laughs> What's it called? 92, the jelly lip plumper. <laughs> yeah, it does have three tips inside, but they're uh, in another language. Yeah, they so. are. They, the tips are in English though. Oh, tip one, pick up content with bright color from the upper part to create natural eye gradient. Absolutely. So this actually does wipe off a little bit. Tip two, take center of content with the built-in brush to create deeper eye shading. Oh, basically the tips are either go up here for more light or go down here for more dark. So I, I can figure that out. Some came off. All right, yeah, a little bit. And but it, we, there's no difference. Well, it's a nice difference. tip. It's yeah, nice it's a good tip. I don't know. I hate it. Um, it's definitely getting on the brush, like. Oh, that's good. Let's see how Unlike the this. roller baloney we did a minute ago. It's a joke. Although I see a huge scam. streak of shimmer right now. Mm. So at least you got once something. I, yeah, once I went on my fingers. Yeah. All right. Are you ready for this? Let's see. You know what? Maybe I'm, I'm going to flip it upside down. One swipe, baby. Just kidding. Well, one swipe and then do you rub it with that? You know, it doesn't say, but I it's on there. The pigmentation's I mean, actually that pretty that it's, good. We can agree that it's on there. It is on there. Yeah, that we can agree on. We can agree on that. Let's agree on that. Let's agree. Yeah, I gotta do the same. Yeah. <laughs> the brush is just a little bit wide, I think. I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna try it after you, because I think my eyes might be smaller. Yeah, I think you should try it. Um, <laughs> here it is. Uh, You're like, yeah, you should try yeah. it. Good luck. You think it's so easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, the brush is flat where- I didn't say it was Where so your easy. eyelid is not. So, mm, you know, you, like if it had a shape like this, that would actually be really helpful. How's she, how's she doing over here? Mm, I did it the opposite way. The darker color on the bottom because I have. Oh yeah, I'm cheating and I'm blending it with my finger. It's actually kind of creamy. It's nicer shadow than I expected. So I only got the dark color. This is a look. look. Sure. <laughs> That's only right. We're gonna need a lot more. We're gonna need to Can't go even and see it. I know this is not good here. All right, we're gonna start in the middle this time since I started from the. More blending is required on that side. I actually like these colors. Yeah? Yeah, I like the gold color. 
I, yeah. I like both of the colors actually. They're pretty nice. Let's start on the inside. It's 16 brand, if anyone's looking for it. I mean, I really, the concept I get, like this is definitely- Swipe and go. People wanna save time. Whenever I, like, people stop me and ask me about my eyeshadow and stop, they're like, my mind never comes out like that. And then whenever we get to talking, it's because they don't spend time to blend. Mm. And they're like, well, I don't have time to blend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like it needs to be swipe and go. So I get the need for this because not everybody has time. I'm gonna offer a tip if you uh, find yourself in that category, is to get a um, somewhat natural shade of eyeshadow, like a light brown, and just use one eyeshadow. Yes. Just put one on and and then just go out, you know? Just do one. That's it, you can just do one. You don't have to do multiple. <laughs> yeah, you don't. And if you want to get started doing more, like after you do use just one color, that's when you go small. I'm gonna grab a brush. Go really small and then pick up like a dark brown mm. and do one little dab and then just go like this with your brush in here. And that's the next step. And then now you can work your way up from there, right? Let's, uh, let's apply this concept. <laughs> so, you got your dark brown, and then start in your outer corner, apply the pigment, and use like circular motions to blend. I don't really see it, but I it was a, a good explanation, even if nothing well, happened. Well, it's not dark enough. You have to use a darker. Yeah, you're right. This shade. is the... Um, these are very creamy. A very bronzy, easygoing shade. Now, the problem with the swipe is that on this side, the color is combined. So this is more like combination of the two colors. Yeah. And on this side, I did better with the separation. You did actually really good with the separation. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Yours, you kept it this, better. This product exceeded my expectations. Exceeded. Exceeded my expectations. Totally exceeded. I thought it would be trash and it's not. It's, it's really not bad. Actually not as bad. It's really as not bad. It's pretty good. I think that- Also, it's so small. A little practice. You could, in, you know, with the brush and the two colors, you could really put it anywhere and have it on you. Maybe it'd be a good like emergency makeup, like in your desk at work or yeah. in your car or something. Cause it's, you know, it's pretty discreet. You know, actually, there's a couple of items here. I think that if you were to put this brow kit and this eyeshadow kit and one of these lip tints as like a emergency kit at work, that would actually give you quite a few things. You would have, first of all, great brows. True. Great lips. We loved the Wet n Wild brow kit. And you would have eyeshadow. I dropped of it. Of course, also you should definitely consider keeping a mascara there if you're gonna if you're gonna go as as far as doing your eyebrows and your eyeshadow, it's a slippery slope. For me, if I'm gonna do <laughs> one thing, slope. I'm actually gonna do eyebrows. Okay. And I usually keep a tinted lip balm at work for like reapplying during the day. It's natural, but it's a little color, so you don't have a corpse face. <laughs> so I'll tell you from when Mike used to beg me to do no makeup days, which by the way, if you want to learn more about that, I have a video about no makeup day. It's like a couple videos ago. Click here. Click here. You click here Somewhere. to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I would, I would sneak makeup on because in the beginning, because I didn't know how like to not wear addict. makeup. Like an addict, like a true addict, I would like sneak things on. And I, well, the things I would choose would be mascara. Mm. That's so noticeable mascara. though. Yeah. I didn't think it was. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. And then of course, as soon as I put it on, he was like, you have makeup on? That's still makeup. And then That's for me, it was- Even if it's one thing. It was also blush. I would like, cause I'm so, so fair. I was gonna say pale, cause I feel pale. Oh my God, I just going to this mascara into something. That I felt like a little bit of blush and mascara, I looked alive. Mm, mm. I went from looking like I was asleep to. Yeah, especially if you have blonde mm. eyelashes, the mascara makes a huge difference. I have darkish eyelashes, so you know it makes a little difference, but yeah, I have pretty light I can walk around it. eyelashes, so I wish my eyelashes were like my eyebrows. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? You can tint them. 
We I can have, tint them. I have the kit. Let's tint them. Yes. Tint the eyelashes. So I do feel like this eyebrow color is a little bit dark. I think it looks so good. Than I usually go for. Is it? I'm glad that you like it. <laughs> I feel Admiring. like I look a lot better than last time. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, all, everything worked out much better than last time. Yeah, these things actually, there were some helpful things and, here. Yeah, even if it was not great, it also didn't leave you with ter like a terrible looking situation. <laughs> like it just, you know, it was disappointing because it didn't really show up. Yeah. So we Yeah. But we had some wins today. Yeah. Our wins were the eyebrows. This is the eyebrow kit, the Wet n Wild kit. And also Christina's eyebrow gel mm -hmm. was gel. also a win for her. And uh, I would say that these... We liked them. We liked them. These, yeah, we liked them. They tasted good. They smelled good. It really, the color really is on there too. Like, it is. It's on there. It's yeah. tinted. And I'm all about that Korea stuff. They know what they're doing. Yeah, true. Like, Jean introduced me to a whole new world when she introduced me to those sheet masks. I'll tell you what. So. <laughs> mm, agreed. And on the other hand, the jelly lip plumper and the roll-on highlighting balm, which oh, honestly were pretty expensive. Um, skip. Yeah. Hard we pass. wanted to like these too. Yeah. This, this was cute. Thirty-eight dollars. Thirty-eight dollars. Yeah. No. I'm gonna have to find something to do with it. <laughs> we could roll artwork what. with it. Yeah. And this I really, really wanted to like because I saw that it was truly organic. I know, and it's so that cute. That had me so Sparkly, excited. Sparkly, and it's got little hearts in it, but it makes your lips taste bad, and it makes glitter get in your teeth. And it's sticky. And I don't... And I, we don't I'm, know that it really did much to no, pump we don't our really lips. Know, yeah. The eyes, All About Eyes, was cool. The consistency of this eyeshadow, which I'll just look down so that you guys can see the eyeshadow, it actually um, has a nice consistency to it. Decently creamy, and I feel like it was probably around five dollars. Oh, do they have one for the cheek too? She's holding it on her cheek. Maybe. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> and this Revlon Instant Cheek Maker bronzer and non-bronzer one. Unfortunately for me, when I wiped it, it wiped off my makeup where it needed to go. I like the color. It looks pretty good if you were to tap it in. I think that this would be better for use to wipe your finger in it and dab it than to wipe it. it the color does come off. Yeah. So we would just say maybe if you don't wear foundation and you want this like highlighter, Kibichi. highlighter bronzy combo. Yeah. yeah. And also yeah. with any of these bombs, you want to warm them up before using it. They're just not going to do true. anything. True. Although that we learned today. We did learn that today. <laughs> Warm it up. Warm it up first. Warm it up. I mean, they say that about concealer and I do that with concealer. I don't know about you where sometimes yeah. if you just dab it on and leave it for a minute, it lets it warm up to like the temperature of your face and allows it to really... It doesn't dry on? on? Depends on the concealer. Mm. Depends on All the right. concealer. You don't have to do your it. But some people do. Vary. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, like I know when I'm doing makeup on a bride, I put the concealer on my hand right here, oh. rather than putting it on a metal palette, because when I put it on my hand, it warms up. And you don't have to leave it for very long, even a couple seconds, it I warms it up. I do that for um, the Dip Brow Pomade. There you if go. If you don't warm it up, it goes on really Can bad. Warm it up? Yeah. So if you're having problems with your makeup, might you just need to warm it up? Try and warm it up. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a little love. Yeah. It's like those butter, those little butter pat, pats, is that what they're called? At like a restaurant. I always like take it and I put it in between my hands and I'm like, clamp it between your legs. Like, get it warm. It's hard as a rock. Who wants cold butter? <laughs> Not me. I will say though that if you keep your mascara in your pocket while you're getting ready and then put it on warm, it really seems to go on some more smooth, yeah. less clumps. That was a good tip. I always forget to do it, but. That was a really good tip. I did it once and it was awesome. We gotta start giving more tips. Yeah. I think this is gold right this here. Is, we're, <laughs> we're starting a whole new thing. It's happening Next right video, now before your eyes. tips, because we've tried enough crazy stuff. Things that you can warm up. <laughs> Is that the next video? I know. Products that need to get warm before Warming all of our makeup before we put it on. So now we've gone from the fastest hacks to the slowest. <laughs> yeah, things that you have to hold in your hands for five minutes before using. <laughs> Watching paint dry, <laughs> a video. <laughs> that sounds good. 
Lots well, of clicks. Thank you guys for watching this video today. Yay, and thank you for having me. Thank you for coming and bringing over all these goodies. I love that you just love makeup as much as I do. I know, I it's so really fun. For things. Even when it's tragic. I'm looking at you, Kaja. <laughs> $38. So we had, some, we had some fails, we had some good things. We'll uh, make some notes below for you guys. Be sure if you like this video to like, I gotta say all these things now, right? Like, subscribe, comment, comment. below and I will <laughs> mail this to you. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave your, leave your address. <laughs> leave your address below and she will mail it. I will send she will first mail this roller. One to lucky you. winner. This two rollers. I love it. Yeah, you and a friend can have fun like we did today. <laughs> Good deal. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.